The next couple of days is dedicated to 1960s chills. Today's double will take place in haunted houses, starting with Jack Clayton's The Innocents. Flora, where did you learn that song? I don't think I remember. It's the song from the music box, isn't it? Isn't it? A wealthy man has placed a lady as governess to his nephew and niece, who live at his country house, but he wants her in full charge, with no influence from him. The house, the grounds, very grand indeed. It's strange to not want to have any part of a young family member's growth. The lady is happy to oblige. The niece appears bright and happy to have someone eager to get to know them. But a letter arrives bearing the news of the nephew's expulsion and his immediate return. He's happy to be home and to meet the new governess, but his attitude is very matter of fact. Oh yes, I expect I'm tired, but I haven't been sleeping well. I know. Flora told me. She says you make little groans and moans all night. Of course, one can never believe Flora. She invents things. She imagines them. The next day, while she's in the garden, she looks to see a man staring at her from the tower. She's informed by the maid that there is no one in the house or in the grounds that she hasn't already met. But when she sees him again, and his identity becomes known, she's met with laughter from the children. What part of this puzzle do they have to play? Freddie Francis's cinemascopic lens gives the picture a wonderful gothic look that would have been lost if it had been shot in colour. Deborah Kerr showing grace and restraint. She's able to hold herself together where others would scream. She was a high profile actress who shared the screen with some of Hollywood's best. Her screen kiss with Burt Lancaster in From Here to Eternity and dancing with Yul Brenner in The King and I became iconic. Peter Wingard is the man she sees. He's best remembered as Jason King, agent, novelist, playboy, and Clytus in Flash Gordon. Miles, the nephew, played by Martin Stevens, was one of the children in the original Village of the Damned. He was recently seen giving a TED talk about his life as a child actor. We have different reactions when it comes to ghosts and death. They can leave an indelible impression on one's psyche. Children's reactions can either be dramatic or traumatic, particularly if the event has taken place in the grounds they live. Is it destructive to the psychological development if they face it head on? or to give them room to process it in their own time. How the children here are proceeding with life makes it an uncomfortable watch. Kerr's performance is remarkable. Her character acting in the best interests of the children's well-being and future is very relatable. She stands with few other women who weren't stereotypically written women who scream at damn near everything. Jack Clayton's movie originally received mixed reviews, but today it's regarded as a masterpiece. <laughs>